This is an absolutely killer line from Joshua Redman. It comes from the Warner Brothers Jazz Christmas Party. It's a fantastic Christmas album. If you're thinking of getting some Christmas jazz, check out my Christmas playlist below. Uh, it's a really, really lovely line over a 2.5. After I dropped the kids off at school, I was walking home. I imported this into the amazing Slow Downer, and I just had that looping round as I was walking home. It's about a 20 minute walk, and I just had that going round, going round, going round. And when I got home, Started practicing it, and of course this morning I can't remember any of it. Now I can remember bits and bobs of it, but it's a really, really great line. Uh, it just kind of sticks out. The thing is that line's over within about two, three seconds. So thinking about a whole piece today, I'm just going to focus on that two, three seconds of that little lick. But that's how you get the thing down. That's how you get the language down. And that's how you learn all the stuff. I've spoken at length, and I've got loads of stuff on the Cambridge Saxophone website about transcribing. It really is. It's not the easiest way to learn, but it's the best way to learn. You certainly learn more. Speaking of Christmas, I've got something really exciting to show you. Coffee with Dan Mugs. You can own these. I am going to put a link below to them on my Bandcamp page. Get them just in time for Christmas. Um, I'll even throw in free po postage and packaging. Um, yeah, I'll do it everywhere. Just make sure you pay up on the things. But I'm really pleased with these. These are going to form part of the Coffee with Dan. Um, series that we're doing got some more videos coming up soon so make sure you check out get your coffee with Dan mugs uh, and uh, yeah have coffee with them I think there becomes a point in every dad's life when you realise you have turned into your own dad because you spend most of your time turning off lights. So like I said, keep listening to it is the important thing. Such a good line. Three and
So just to have a really quick Q&A, don't forget to get hold of your Coffee with Dan mugs that are just below. Welcome to all the new subscribers, by the way. It's so great to just see the phenomenal growth on the channel. I mean, I get, when I go to YouTube Space, I think, I'd really love 10,000 subscribers, because that would enable me to unlock YouTube Space and use all their gear and everything. But yeah, I'm really happy with each and every single one of you. I mean, a year ago, we were just over 1,000. That's what I wanted for Christmas. We're now approaching 4,000. So that's really, really great. So please keep telling everyone about the channel. Please keep spreading the word, and please help my microphone is switched on. Vintage Vinyl Vets says, so glad to hear that you try to shop locally. It's so important to do that and build a good relationship with local uh, merchants. Came as a beautiful city. Love the Instagram. Uh, what kind of speakers do I have plugged into my turntable? They are just bog standard Sony speakers. Let me show you. I mean, obviously they're pretty good because they're Sony, but they're not amazing. I think they were my grandfather's hi-fi system he bought about 15, 20 years ago. Get a good sound not as good as my krk monitors but i wanted that vinyl sound and i guess if vintage vinyl lets you agree with me on that oracle says thanks for the video it really persuaded me to buy one for the budget price it got it in a sale this was about the zoom 4n um yeah i mean i was a bit harsh on it because at the end of the day they couldn't be bothered to provide me with one but there you go there's um a happy customer from review that that helps me if you have found the reviews useful um and you have decided to go on a bike please tell me that because it kind of helps me realize that to keep doing review videos and those kind of things it's always useful i always try and comment if someone somebody else's video has helped me with something i'll always try and put a positive comment in there because i know how much work goes into even making the simplest of YouTube videos. Uh, Thomas Schneider asked me a question, says, can you do a download sheet music from my gig book? Now, I am going to do a proper vlog soon about iGigbook, but I get a lot of questions about it. And without showing you confidential emails, um, what I love about iGigbook is, first of all, you've got all these real books kind of linked in with it. But the other thing you do, now it's not that good because I had to, you saw when I cracked the screen on the iPad, I had to um, basically reload it in. Now it remembered all the books but forgot all the playlists which was a bit annoying. But what I like about it, you can create a gig set, you can create a set for your gig of different pieces and then you can go mail, include songs as PDF attachment, it will then create its own little real book for that gig that you can email out to your band members. So, you know, obviously if you're doing a if you're doing a jazz gig, um, you kind of hope that people would know most of it, but if you're doing originals um, or if you're playing with people who don't normally play with you, I found that really handy. Rather than carrying around a big thick file, I still have to do it a lot of the time because Joel won't, you know, let's not go there. Um, but um, being able to email out the files is really useful. I've had that app for a long time, along with iRealBook. It's probably one of the apps I've used the most alongside, as I was talking about earlier today, the amazing slowdown uh, or transcribe on the main machine. Thank you very much for watching today's vlog. I hope it's proved useful for you. If it has, please hit that subscribe button. If you already subscribed, please give me a like. It always helps spread the love and all that kind of thing. And tell someone new about um, my channel and get them to subscribe as well. Don't forget to check out what I was doing on my last vlog here. Here, and this is what I was up to this time last year and I will see you tomorrow for a very special coffee with Dan. Don't forget to get your mug.